those gorgeous eyes, that wonderful hair, that silly and heroic personality. Those words describe my favorite anime heroine, Sailor Moon. The figure you see here is no other than Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal, and is a reboot in order to bring Sailor Moon into a new generation. SH Figure Arts decided to take on this figure, and when I first saw her I wondered if she was just another repaint. Am I wrong? Let's find out in this toy review of SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host Dexter Arachnus and today we'll be looking at a figure that I've been looking to get for so long and it's no other than Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal by SH Figure Arts. This figure looks amazing but when I first saw it I thought it was just a repaint. And I guess the question is, is it a repaint? Let's find out in this toy review. But before we do, this figure is brought to you by MHToyShop.com. The best selection, the best prices, only at MHToyShop.com. Link in the description below. While I will talk about the differences of this figure compared to the original Sailor Moon from SH Figure Arts, I just gotta say, Dem Eyes. Wow, are they painted on really well and look like they come straight from the anime and look amazing. SH Figure Arts is definitely upping their game when it comes to the paint and detail, and this figure rivals something Figma would make, as they are known to make slightly better female anime figures. I am really liking this face, as it has a very soft finish to it, which makes it look very anime accurate. The hair is well painted and features a gradient of crystal, get it, crystal? Anyway, at the tips of her pigtails all the way to her blonde hair. Also, her hair has a slight tint of orange and complements it well. So to answer the question if this is just a repaint, no, it is not. It is actually a completely different sculpt, as you can see here, and she features a much thinner midsection and slightly different legs. Also, her outfit is slightly different, but not by much. Instead of shimmery paint like the original, I've noticed that this figure has a more flat color scheme. Her boots are pinkish red and look really nice. Her skirt is a dark cobalt blue. Her bow is pinkish red with a nicely detailed moon crystal compact. And her gloves and bodysuit are an eggshell white. The last difference is the hair as it features four pigtails instead of two. I love the overall finish of this figure and the paint and detail on it is just Amazing. Okay, so here we are with the SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon Crystal, um, Sailor Moon, and we're gonna go over articulation and scale. So let's get her height out of the way. And she's looking to be with her meatball hair, five and a half inches. And let's see how she scales with Marvel Legends. And this is Darkhawk right here. So he scales really well. And then lastly, we have SH Figure Arts, Harley Quinn. Uh, all scaling really well, as you can see here. So let's talk about articulation. Now we have a up and down movement here at the uh, ankle. We got a bend at the knee. We got fully rotatable leg. We don't get two articulations in the midsection, and honestly, I'm okay with that because then that would ruin the whole outfit here. Uh, also, we have an upper, but we do get this upper midsection here, fully rotatable there. Rotatable upper arm right here at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, and of course, we have a rotatable wrist, and one articulation at the neck. I believe the original Sailor Moon has, I, oh, I, oh, I thought it had two articulations, but it doesn't at the neck. But since we have her out anyway, I'd just like to compare the two, uh, just right here. Yes, they stand about the same, 
I think Crystal stands a little bit taller. Yeah, just about, just about. So as you can see, there they are together. So there you have it, articulation and scale for Usagi-chan, AKA Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal. Four extra faces, Spiral Heart Moonrod, Stand, and a whopping 14 extra hands is what you get with this figure. Sadly, we do not get a spindle to hold these hands, but I'm okay with that as you get so many hands. With this many hands, the posing options are endless and honestly, I can't show them all to you because this video would just be too long. Just know that you get a complete set of hands with this figure and is an excellent addition. Looking at these faces, I would like to point out these two in particular. They look to be the same, but there is a slight difference between them. Notice that one eye has the eye looking slightly to the right, and the reason for this is so that you can have her pose when she's about to do an attack. Looking at the other two faces, they are actually quite neutral in emotion, and they look almost the same as well with one slightly looking left. Now I do appreciate these extra faces, but honestly I have to admit they're kind of pointless as they kind of look all the same and I wish there was more variation in emotion. Also before we continue with the accessories, I just want to make a quick note that the faces are not interchangeable with the old Sailor Moon from SH Figure Arts. Last thing we're going to look at is the Spiral Heart Moonrod. As we can see here, it has a very shiny finish and looks amazing. Also, she holds it very well. While she does come with a stand, I am very happy to say that she stands on her own without it. Good job, figure arts. Overall, she's a complete package. She is excellent in paint and detail, and the accessories you get with her are a great value. And you will not be disappointed with this figure. So first, let's start off with the negatives in this conclusion of my review. Well, honestly, I really can't find any. Usually the problem I have with Sailor Moon figures is that they cannot stand on their own and SH Figure Arts solved this problem as she's more flat-footed and well-balanced so that solves that problem. I do have a slight problem with her and that has to do with these secondary pigtails right before they reach the meatballs on her head. When I first opened this figure, I, it's the first thing I noticed. It looks like they were going to break out. So, just a fair warning, watch out when you're posing her with her pigtails. Now. On to the positives. I really dig the finish of this figure. The face is very anime accurate. The accessories you get with her are excellent and you get an overabundance of hands for an almost endless amount of posing options. Therefore, this figure is near perfect and I'd have to give her a score of 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to enter my giveaway for my road to a thousand subs. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Hey you! Thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, where? Right here, not there, right here! You, and thanks for watching, so, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here, yeah!